My next guest this morning, she is one of Key West's most beloved singers and entertainers. Now, she's a native Key Wester, so she's played in virtually every venue in town, along with many charity benefits in Key West as well. Now, it's been a while since she's been on the show, so I am so excited to have her back this morning. I know, too, that she has a very busy season up ahead. Carmen, thank you for being oh, back on the show. I love being here with you. It's great. It's well, a lot of fun. It's wonderful having you here. It's wonderful catching up with you too, Carmen. Let's start by telling our viewers what all you have up ahead this season. Well, I have a very busy schedule. And in fact, I had to write it down because I didn't realize how, bu how busy it was going to be. <laughs> but um, I do lots of costumes for the theater, lots of costumes for the um, waterfront and the Red Barn. So that keeps me real busy for next season. They have a great season next year both theaters so um, be sure you get your tickets because they're going fast mm -hmm. but the one thing that I'm going to do for the waterfront is a fundraiser which is um, November 16th and 17th it's called Swonderful it's music by George Gershwin or the Gershwin boys Ira and George in fact today is George Gershwin's birthday Oh, so happy, happy birthday, birthday George <laughs> and it's going to be a gala event at the waterfront theater and you can get your tickets at the waterfrontplayhouse.org and everybody's going to be wearing gowns. It's going to be six girls, six guys. And I'll just give a few. It's uh, Lori Breakwell, Gayla Morgan, um, Joy Hawkins, Vicky Rausch, um, myself, and then the boys, J.B. McClendon, Gordon Ross, Randy Roberts, Danny Weathers. Um, fabulous lineup. Just a great <laughs> lineup. So there you go. It sounds fabulous. So we have that, and then, then I start my season. Mm -hmm. And then January 29th, I start my new show at the Little White House. That's going to be neat. Yes, it's our, we did it last year, and I call it site-specific. And we did music of the Truman era, and it was with Bobby Nesbitt, and it was wonderful. They take all the furniture out of the living room, and they make it a little uh, cabaret room. It's fabulous. Mm -hmm. And it's um, just a few seats. It's only like 65 mm -hmm. tables and cha uh, chairs. So you have to get your tickets very quickly. In mm -hmm. fact, I have to tell you, January 29th is now sold out. Really? So I'm really proud of well, that. Well, th that's a good problem to have. That's right? a good problem. <laughs> and that's called Moonlight Serenade. So mm -hmm. we did um, Sentimental Journey last year. Now it's Moonlight Serenade. Mm -hmm. And you can get your tickets on Keys Ticks. You'll see it's called the Little White House series. But this is my newest um, thing that I'm doing as far as singing. And I'm going to be doing music of um, World War II with Bobby Nesbitt, this, this series. Well, I look forward oh, to it's that. It's going to be great. Now, Carmen, I always learn stuff about you every day, I feel like, because you do so much more than just singing. Right. You also do costumes. You do weddings. I, I love being a wedding officiant. I'm so glad you asked. Mm -hmm. it is, I think it's my favorite thing to do because I marry people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. They want to come down to Key West as a destination wedding. They want to get married on the beach, and they just want someone to marry them on the beach. And because I am a local conch, mm -hmm. um, it's sort of a good luck charm. And I also mm -hmm. blow the conch shell at the end, which gives them that good spirit of the islanders. Mm -hmm. And but. I tell you, the number one thing that I think people need to do if they come down here is get a wedding planner. Mm -hmm. It is so important, even if it's day of service, because it takes all of the pressure off the bride and groom. Mm -hmm. Because you think, oh, well, I can just come to Key West and I can get married. Well, it's not that easy. No. You have to have some in input and a mm -hmm. wedding planner. I work with a great wedding planner um, with Swivel Group, Kristen Arts. And she knows all the vendors, she knows what to do, how to do it, and how to get that information to the bride. So mm -hmm. it's real important, but I love marrying people. So that's What's your favorite thing to do, Carmen? Um, let's see. I do like costumes because mm -hmm. it, in a small island like this, it's very hard to find all the, inf all the costumes or the props. So you have to be very inventive. Mm -hmm. And um, eBay is my friend. <laughs> I have to eBay. tell you. I <laughs> okay. <laughs> Punch an eBay. And I have a lot of friends and I get a um, lot of help. They let me borrow things. I'm mm -hmm. very resourceful. I can make things. I can come up with some ideas. It's very creative for the mind. Let's talk about some of the gowns that you wear, Carmen. Oh. They're beautiful, the oh, gowns that you wear. Do you design them, or how does that work? I'll start off with maybe just a simple gown, and I'll add the embellishments or a shawl, and, um, or I'll take a gown apart and put three back on. I'll mm -hmm. take some from a one gown and add it. But I like wearing gowns. I think it's very elegant. And for this Gershwin at the Waterfront uh, Playhouse fundraiser, we're all wearing gowns, and the men are wearing tuxedos. Mm -hmm. So it gives people a chance to really dress up. People say, well, I can't dress up because, you know, I don't have a lot of places to go. But you can. You can wear something sparkly. Right. I mean, it doesn't have to be a gown, but it can be a sparkly dress, some sparkly earrings. Mm -hmm. If you want to wear something sparkly or something dressy, then do it, right? You have to do it. Life is short. <laughs> That's right. Very <laughs> short. So go sparkly, my mm -hmm. friends. What all do you do down here for fun in, in Key West, Carmen? Mm -hmm. Well, I think my favorite thing is to go out on my brother Michael and his wife Karen's houseboat. Mm -hmm. And it takes about two hours to get out to the lakes of Boga Grande. 
but you have no choice but to relax. You have to just take a deep breath, look at the beautiful sky and the ocean, and I like going out with him. And then he, um, he pulls his boat so we can go out fishing for dinner that night. Mm -hmm. And we stay on the houseboat, we look at the stars. And, oh yes, there are cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad thing. It's a wonderful way to go. Have you always lived here, Carmen? Well, I was born here, mm -hmm. and um, I went to high school here, but I went to college in Tampa. Mm -hmm. And I decided that after I went to college that I needed to get out some more. So mm -hmm. um, I moved to Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. And uh, I joined a rock and roll band, and I traveled all over the southeast mm -hmm. for five and a half years. Had a good time. Well, I'm glad you're back here, though. Right? I am happy <laughs> to be here, and I you're, love being right here with you. You're back. And uh, we forgot to mention, too, that you are at Tavern in Town. Oh, yes, with Michael mm -hmm. Thomas on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's the greatest happy hour ever. So come out and see all the locals, and they have a wonderful tapas menu. It's from 5 to 9, but happy hours from 5 to 7, every day of the week at the Tavern in Town. It's the place to be. That's right. It is the place to be, and it sounds like all of your shows this coming season are the place to be as there's well. There's plenty. So and there's, um, I think they put up on the on the TV channel yeah. all the websites to mm -hmm. go and find these things. They're all on the bottom of the screen right now okay. for you to purchase your tickets. Great, Carmen. Thank you so much for being it's back. Been a on pleasure. The show. You look beautiful. I love your outfit. You look beautiful. That's great. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna look at that. I like that. I'm gonna be right back after this. Please stay with me.